Hi everybody. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a drawing. So it's been raining a lot lately. So the rain that we get makes the flowers grow in May. So today we're going to draw flowers and then we're going to make it rain on our paper. So first of all, let's draw some flowers. Well, the flowers grow from the ground. So I'm going to put some ground here. And then I'm going to draw four flowers. And I'm going to make them different heights so it makes the picture interesting. So I'm going to make a tall one, and maybe a short one, and a taller one, and a medium sized one. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to draw a rose. A rose has a very tight inside. So I drew a spiral. Then what I'm going to do is make a great big U around it. That's my rosebud. So I would color that in. And that is my rose. I'm using crayons because when we make it rain later, we're going to use the markers. So make sure you're using crayons. I'm going to give it a leaf. Sometimes roses have thorns if you want to put some thorns on it. So my next flower is going to be a tulip. Tulips grow really early in the spring. Tulips start with the letter U and then it has a zigzag line at the top. Just like that. And I'm going to color that one in with my crayons. They also have leaves, but their leaves are very tall and thin triangles like this. My next flower will be similar to a daisy. It has a circle for the middle, and then it has um, some petals. So I'm going to put, kind of looks like the sunshine that we draw. Why I did that is because now I'm going to connect those to make my petals. I think that one looks more like a daisy. So I'm going to fill the inside in. the petals white okay and my last flower I'm just going to use my imagination and make something different okay I might give a, a middle okay I'm gonna add some petals but maybe not as many as my daisy so I'm gonna put maybe at the bottom and close off the sides like this. Okay, and then I'm going to color that in. So once you get the flowers that you want, or the flowers that you might see outside when you're walking and playing time, once you finish what you like, we're going to make it rain in our picture. some leaves to my flowers. So now I'm ready to make it rain. So I'm going to put my crayons away and use my marker. Okay, markers are the raindrops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some dots. Now I'm not pushing hard on the marker. I don't want to smash the, the tip. I'm just making little dots. This is the raindrops that you have when it rains. I'm going to fill up the whole paper. They're not very big raindrops. They're very small. I'm 
once I think I have enough, I'm going to take my pitcher to the sink and I'm going to get the paper wet. Okay everybody, now I'm in my kitchen with my sink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the water and I'm going to get my picture. Markers don't like water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to watch the water smear my raindrops, the marker raindrops. Once this dries, you'll see the flowers and then you'll see the rain like it's dripping down off the paper. Can you see how the, the marker is smearing because it's wet? That makes it look like it's raining. I hope you have fun.